Alrighty, folks, welcome to the broadcast. Got another good matchup. It's going to be game three, 13 seed Aron Warsawski versus 20 seed Derek Miller. They're tied one apiece. Winner goes on to face defending champion Justin Abramson. I am joined by uh, Desatsi, also known as J.R. Jones. How you doing? Good. Thanks for having me on, Craig. Glad to be here. Yeah, glad to have you back. I feel like it's been a while since I, we've had you on. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Real life has been busy, unfortunately. But excited to watch this one. Derek yeah. promises it's a good one. Yeah, he's, he kind of spoiled it and said it was a good matchup, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, as you can see up there, we got the bracket posted. Things are coming along nicely. Uh, a couple surprises, though. Uh, I think the biggest one so far, actually two big ones, Zima Witt, Pazdurski going out to Giant Slayer, Thomas Coverdale in the first round. Uh, a little bit of a shocker there. He defeated him 2-1. And then also near the bottom there, Michael Stryker drops two games at SJ Hong, a South Korean representative there. So two surprises. Um, but, I mean, this OTSL gold field is very tough. How you uh, feel about joining that next year? Oh, I, uh, I, my goal next year is to not get relegated because, yeah, like you <laughs> said, it's a, it's a tough field. Looking at some of those OTSL gold divisions, I was wondering if I would have won a game in division because the level of talent in uh, gold is just wild. Yeah, I was definitely sweating the entire season. Luckily, I will remain in gold, but uh, six and eight record, maybe I could do a little bit better. But let's get into the game at hand. It's going to be Derek versus Iran. Let me pull it up here in one second. Actually get to do it live this time because... Um, the recorded game, so this is not a live match. All right, there we go. See Derek sitting at 1746 playback. Rand sitting at 1889, very nice. Um, kind of taking the league by storm a little bit. Has an ITSR rating of 6291 and a 3214 and two record. See how he does here today. We're going to be looking from Derek's point of view, uh, the USA player. Iran was the higher seed here, so he got the elected the games. Ripped over my words, game three sides. Alrighty. We'll have the opening hand here from Derek. A pretty uh, interesting hand here, both the D cards here, D call, D stall, decent ops, no four op cards. Uh, and it looks like the factors of containment will be the headline here. What are you thinking? Um, it's tough. He didn't draw any of the uh, cards you're the most worried about. Uh, he, he, um, so you kind of want to go defectors. If he's going to end up going this setup, I think he's definitely going defectors. Um, you don't just want to let him sock govs and flip over Italy here. Yeah. Do get some good value out of containment here. Um, he does fill France though, which makes Suez less playable, and he's going to have to space decal or destall or dump one to blockade. But he is going to go for defectors play. Let's see how Iran wants to lead here. Right. Yeah. The other option would be you know, probably a standard four four two, and then containment that makes Suez pretty playable, mm -hmm. and you'd get a lot of ops value out of it but containment going back in the deck never bad and defectors is always a strong headline so I don't think he's going to be able to hold containment since he has both of the D cards yeah I've been really liking the 3-3-2-2 setup especially when I have defectors or as Harry mentioned last broadcast having a, a low op hand just to make it a little bit easier to grab that domination in Europe where you risk uh, the coup of Italy more or a sock of headline but Apparently that's the thing to do is the three three two two, but it hasn't really taken off in becoming the standard yet. 
Yeah, it's it's a little more risky, I think, and a lot of players are pretty uh, risk averse. Um, so I think that's probably the main reason. They get one good coup in Italy, like I did against uh, Michael in the New York Grand Slam finals, and it's just a disaster for you in Europe. Mm-hmm. Taking a long time here to think about it. Maybe as a tough hand here or no headline option. Aaron does play uh, a little slower. I know he, uh, him and Derek had been agreeing to 70 minute timers for their games. I don't think it didn't look like this one's going to take the whole timer, but uh, he was using almost all of his 70 minutes for most of the games. Yeah. Max and Justin pointing out not liking the 3-2-3-2 three, two, three, two whenever you got to give up Suez having both those D cards. This is a fair point. Losing four ops for sure. Comes the headline. It is going to be purged. It's going to get defectors. So that's nice. Defectors or containment would have canceled that out. Yep. But now you essentially defectors. gain an op from it. Yeah. Defector's better. If he goes with the standard coup of Iran here. Don't know his hand, but it seems like a pretty obvious AR1 play here. Yeah, it does give up the four op card in the headline. But what is your preference here? Let's say you coup Iran and fail. What's your usual follow up to that? If um, you're the Reds. After I finish swearing, um, <laughs> then I might play into, um, I'll probably play in at least one into Korea. He takes a four op swing here. Another four op card and a two clears it out. Clears it out. Um, but I would, I would definitely play at least one into Korea. Um, depending on uh, access, I might take one more, depending on my hands, uh, Israel to start walking towards Egypt if I don't have Nasser. Mm -hmm. Afghanistan's an option to force them to play into uh, Pakistan. Derek wisely getting out of Israel here, going to Jordan. Yeah, usually if I fail the coup of Iran as the Reds, I tend to fill either Iraq or a little bit of influence in the South Korea. Yeah, filling Iraq is good. It's honestly pretty annoying um, as Reds when the U.S. steps back into Iraq. It just makes it so much harder to take mm -hmm. the Dom in the Middle East because they can walk into Saudi Arabia if you do take it. And after the USA player follows up by taking Pakistan or going into Malaysia, I'm not a fan of doing again. <laughs> no. Unless maybe I have the Asia scoring card, then I might coup Pakistan. Okay. He just puts both in South Korea. Yeah, it doesn't block off Iraq, which is kind of interesting. Allows him, allows Derek just to walk into it. They did use two four ops and then go for a two op card. I think maybe this right. is a signal of Asia scoring, or maybe he has Korean War in his hand. He wants to play for ops, but doesn't want to leave it empty. That's why it's always risky, uh, dropping that four op in the he um, headline. Independent Reds for free to take Iran makes sense. Does get the first space off, but doesn't get it. That's a bummer. Yeah, he's got a couple of three op cards left here. I need to get his mill ops. I imagine he's going to have a coup of Iran unless maybe he moves into Pakistan. He might little more risky and go for that quickly filled up Europe though to grab that domination especially with a setup like this I think that's pretty important you don't want he probably he might have already done it if he'd had the chance but um you don't want the Soviets to get it off for free after you set up only an op or two away from yeah I think domination. if you weren't filling a rock there you would have dumped Europe rather than put influence yeah. in South Korea I don't think he has it this turn. Yeah, 
Patrick in chat making a good point that he did risk put Middle East there. Um, he has no presence in the Middle East, so that was a little risky to not take something at least. Yeah, at least put one up in Lebanon. I mean, sure, you give up the coup, but you don't risk having a presence this Middle East there. He blocks the domination he is. It just takes one country. Two left. I think it, I'd like two in Egypt at that point. Yeah, maybe even going one Malaysia to help uh, block a domination from the Reds. Well, really sure, showing up Europe. That seems maybe a tad too passive there, playing in Europe and defending it so well. Does there is Korean the Korean War. War. Sun said he put two ops in there earlier, so. We're going to have to give up Suez here. I imagine that's why he's overprotecting France, so he can dump Suez easier. Once mill ops, though, for a last action round. And Ouch. an ugly one. Ugly one, yeah. And Suez is just empty AR, so you can't stop. Yeah, all that influence in Europe, you're probably not even going to come away with a turn one domination of Europe because, I mean, you've got to repair and you got to get out of Israel, perhaps. Unless you want to risk it, but you need to at least grab Lebanon or something to get presents. Yeah, he, he can't grab presents and repair Europe fully, so... Uh, not, do you know how to, how to pronounce his name for sure? I should have asked before broadcasting. I, I was going to say Iran. It might, yeah, I, I, unfortunately, I do not. Does have enough ops, so apologize beforehand. Uh, well, af after the fact <laughs> for mispronouncing your name. You'll have to let me know. Let's grab Middle East domination nicely and then also grabs Asia domination. So country count in Asia, four to two, so Derek would have to grab two. But he's going to have to make up to Suez damage here. So this goes back to the opening, maybe leading that 4 4 2. And all we see is Asia. Yep, and blockade means he's not going to be able to hold D stall more than likely. No, this is a. Uh... Tough hand overall. Not a ton of ops. Probably going to have to give up the Asia Dom. I don't think he can... Uh, I don't think he can really fight him on country count with the cards he has. He hasn't even gotten to Malaysia yet. Yeah, it's going to be tough there in Asia to fight him. Defcon is four. I think it might have been a slight mistake to take the one out of Israel with him already in Jordan. Um, if he had spent all four in Europe, he could not have taken presence in the Middle East and the domination in Europe. Uh, yeah. He would have had to choose one or the other. So I think I think that would have been a little better play. Good point. He is going to block it here with Sock Govs, at least temporarily. Let's see if he dumps the scoring card. And if he has, he should right away. I mean, DEFCON's at four, so you get a coup anyway. Mm-hmm. With Asian hand, he might Derek might be tempted to coup Pakistan. Haven't seen IP war, and it's not a great coup target to be honest. Oh, there is the yep, dump there of is Europe. Europe. Right, he is going to take it, only going with the two up here, as he has limited ops for the turn. Only one three up in his hand that he could spend. Gets that 33% chance and gets one in. Now you might run into a situation for Iran where you actually lose out on mill ops here if you want to place and then the USA player coups again. We've already seen Arab Israeli, we've seen Korean War, so the only card left is IP War to gain mill ops. 
Yep. That would be the best war for him to have. Um, because he was going to love to event that at some point this turn. Mm hmm. See if Derek wants to give up Fidel uh, to enable CIA. Although this could be a good time to get rid of CIA if you uh, have it. Yeah, if he doesn't give up CIA right here, I think we'll see Fidel as uh, very soon. You want to get that. Uh, he, he knows he's not getting decall or destall, at least until turn three. So mm -hmm. get him some mid-war region presence so you can uh, have that active. Doesn't really have a good coup target here. I mean, he has Panama. Yeah, it really, that's... Panama. He could coup Lebanon, but he already has Syria, so that's not as important. I think he wants to fight for Asia. Got to take Pakistan here, or maybe he just lets it go. He has IP war in his hand to event it and get lucky with Pakistan. Or I don't think Derek's going to be able to fill India, but gives up U.S. Japan. Big four up. So that has to retake Pakistan. Yeah. And creates a threat in France. I like that. Does give Derek another country, so it's still only plus one, four, three. See if Derek wants to push Europe. Was well, already scored, but he's going to block it off and protect Algeria. I think with such a limited hand, maybe I don't put all three into. France, maybe make it 2 0. Make a bluff of Truman, perhaps. Let's get out of Pakistan. So, if you were to put France to 2 0, where would you have put the extra one? Well, you have Asia in your hand. If you want any hopes of fighting so, it, I think you got to go Malaysia. Malaysia, just so you can start getting towards those uh, other countries to even it. Yeah. Thailand, Cambodia. Because, I mean, he really only has three ops left in his hand. He doesn't yeah. space Fidel. So maybe you couldn't even afford to take Thailand. But oh, oh, that's going to be well, a lot of definitely trouble. Definitely not now. Yeah. I think Malaysia was probably better because now you could give up Fidel and take Thailand at least. But I Maybe still, get the China card out of it. Yeah, I still don't see a way that you get out of this domination in Asia. No, I, I don't think it was really preventable. Yeah, it didn't move into Israel, so he's not going to perhaps get to Egypt before Nasser comes out, which is going to make Middle East look quite red again. Yeah, the point in India, I don't, I don't think, does too much for you. No. You don't want to take India anyway. You don't, you're don't. you too afraid of IP war, and you don't have the ops to take India and Burma or anything at the same time. Yeah. Derek now so realizing it's sense. futile in Asia and just dumps the card, gives up 6 yeah. VP. Saves at least one. He would have taken Thailand probably on the uh, next AR, so... One VP saved. It's something. Yeah, and this can go back to even turn one, even getting into Malaysia is very important. Have tr There's Truman. Who here? If he doesn't, I think you need to coup just to deny the mill ops. Just like Justin was saying in the chat. Enough to get in there or kick him out. He will get one VP from uh, 
Milops, probably. Yep. Goes back to Israel to try and get into Egypt before Nasser gets invented. Um, which you have to assume would be right now if he has it. Yeah. Like Middle East is going to come out on turn three, though, so that's sort of good news for Derek. Well, Middle East is not that many points to begin with, but... Haven't seen five-year plan yet either. Or CIA. Or Duck. duck There's Duck. Hits it, gets his one VP. Wesley takes Egypt there. Able CIA. I don't think he has it this turn, but for the future. No. If he'd had CIA. Definitely would have uh, been the car there, but yes, good good for it to be active going into the mid war. Or er, turn three. Marshall plan. Uh, Ron getting all the four little, up guards. A little gift. Secure Europe a little. Will definitely help set up for the Europe domination on turn three and later. He wants to do it here with the four ops. I wonder what his last card was because Europe was not strong. I would not have been super eager to give up Marshall there. I think you have a good chance of fighting for it, depending on your redraws. Yeah. Truman was gone, West Germany was 3 0. I don't know if you'd want to blow seven ops in the early war on West Germany, but. Have we seen, did he play De Gaulle on a T1? Have we seen that? Because I don't think we've seen that. I think NATO is out there. There's the only four up card left. Yeah. Warsaw. IP war. So two of these ops, you need to take Thailand. Um, yeah, for sure. What do you what do you want to do with the other two though? Maybe just yeah. You can't get the domination Iraq. back in Middle East, so what else you could do with your two ops that would be effective? Yeah, I mean, I guess you could start filling up a battleground, yeah. Not really afraid of IP war. Pakistan's fully surrounded. Double just... down on the Vietnam revolts here. Very safe for now, at least. Yeah, Thailand will be his. And you hope now they need to see that card not again soon. All right, Derek gets his first four up card here in NATO. Two scorings, Europe and Middle East, but he's happy to see De Gaulle, I'm sure. Absolutely. Nasser's also nice. Um, I think you just probably headline the Middle East here and be done with it, right? Yeah, I mean, you don't really have anything else, so... Middle East is only going to probably get worse, and there's nothing you can do about it. No. Redrew East all, which even that can't even get it for you. Yeah, D-stall would not even... There's, there's no way to even D-stall in there to get it. So yeah, I think you got to just go Middle East. Even though we got NATO, Derek's still not with great ops in this hand. For what Derek is thinking about, I'm pretty sure an easy Middle East score headline. He could be thinking of Europe in the headline, but there's there's too many cards that mess up Europe. Yeah, I think yeah. you just. I mean, yeah, if, it's got to be Middle East. Iran redrew Sokovs. He's going to get dominated in Europe. Right. Maybe step. Maybe away. he's playing. <laughs> or maybe he's playing some mind games. Yeah, maybe. And Iran knows he there has it. Is. Yeah. On card, he knows everything except for uh, 
Olympic yeah, Korean, and Europe. Yeah. IP war. Big six. I think you could coup Panama, though. Get yourself up yep. for Central and sure the USA doesn't do too and anything to it. Stepping into Colombia or something. Yep, and you have you don't know if you're going to get a de-stall back to try and get in, so I think Panama is very important here. Could see Derek make a run for Cameroon with his low ops hand. Work on uh, Africa. He does have CIA in hand, so a little surprised he didn't give that up. Yeah, I mean, he really valued Panama, I think, over dumping CIA. Didn't really have a good coup target other than Iran. Right. He does have uh, the China card. Um, have we seen UN? Does he have UN as well? Yeah, I think he has UN because I, I don't think I've seen it. Yeah, Matt pointing that out. Yeah, so if he has, if he has UN... Then I, that makes total sense to me. Yeah, it's not. It's nice to get it out, but Panama is very important here. So, we draw of Asia early gets its domination. Six more VP track looking scary at thirteen, but Europe yet to come. Yeah, he will get it down to eight, which is still not uh, what you like to see. But Ryan. Beat them to space here, or you just score Europe? I'm not that worried about space, too. I, I think I would just score Europe here. I would probably give up De Gaulle here as well, just to get it out of the deck. Um... Yeah. Take Algeria first. I think most of this turn, you just kind of walk through Africa now. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know, I, I like spacing. You could uh, double space, but I think maybe getting to Cameroon is more important. Look at I give yeah. up Nasser, but Middle East was scored, so not really that big of a deal anyway. CIA. Here comes CIA, yep. The all three early war regions scored on turn three, but he's gonna be fighting over the mid war, mid region countries. Right, which makes walking through Africa so important. Yeah, and if you're Derek here, I mean, when I fill up Africa, make it nice and blue, and then hopefully be able to steal the coup on turn four. The grain cells, Junta or something, or lower it with Cuban or how I learn. Goes Libya there. He doesn't have too much to do with his ops anyway. Doesn't want to get cleared out when Sadat comes out. A little risky leaving uh, France at 2-1. I know it's scored, but basically offering it if uh, he wants to take it. Yeah. If Iran wants to prioritize taking Middle East, though, set up for OPEC. You know, put a couple ops in France. Give up special, which makes it go 3-3. Three, three. Me, I'm not really placing a priority on France here if I'm Derek. I mean, you have the surrounding countries. You could set up a realign later, perhaps. It's already scored on turn three. You won't see it until turn seven or later. Yep, and it looks like 
looks like that's what he's thinking is um, he just has more important things to do in Africa and uh, Central America. Got five year plan as his last card, but nothing to dump to. Yes. It. You end. If he takes France here, he fills up Middle East. France? Takes it. So I think uh, Iran won the early war there. Up eight on VP, gonna go to 10. And has three dominations in the early war region. Derek does not have a way to steal the coup. He can lure it with how I learned. Um, got a bunch of random two and three ops and also ass not. Decal will more than likely be the space guard or liberation. The other one will get held. That means you're going to give up sock govs here. Yeah. Get double space. Liberation is potentially you can give it up. You can just repair Mexico. Um, since you already don't control Panama, but yeah. Also, a chance at double space. He could uh, if he gets if he gets succeeds and um, he could get two off into space. Uh, I don't think it's bad enough to ask not the car the red cards away. No. You want to hold that for either a really bad scoring or gunman, I think. Not really afraid of a missile envy here. You probably just give up two. Yep. And that's only one VP for sure because Ask Not just got played. Adds a card you don't see headlined too much. Probably means he's going to be moving into Nicaragua, Haiti. I'm sure he wanted that coup of Mexico. Curious if he'll, you'll see him just uh, walk into Colombia too with his coup world advantage. Yeah, that is a good point. Especially if you can break a country or something along with your Columbia play. But I don't see too many good targets for that right now. No. Maybe Colombia break Algeria, that way you don't get controlled in Africa. Curious if he might uh, coup the lower non-battle ground. Is that Cameroon in Africa? Mm-hmm. Although Saharan states, if you coup that, um, does give you a realign attempt on Algeria as well. So, let's see if he drew any powerhouse cards here. So I think if he did, maybe he would have headlined that for lads. Perhaps he has South American score and he's looking to make a play for it. Yeah. Yeah, I would... Th I would think... He probably doesn't have Missile Envy. And you would think if he uh, had one of those other ones, he might be worried about it getting stolen, so... Some crappy blue cards in his hand now. Sometimes you get the unfortunate draw of drawing like OAS, Panama Canal, and other garbage along with it. Right. Early China card. Signaling he's going to give up Nixon UVP. He wants okay. to start the coup war in Colombia here. And, I, and Lads almost guarantees that he's going to win this. Eric was looking for a big one there. Two influence into Columbia. Yeah, coup back here. 
I would swing, yeah. I was going to say, I would swing with either a three or a four op if Oof. I had it here because Columbia is really important here. Yeah. Only gets that two, but I mean, at a minus one here, it's still going to be difficult for Derek to break this. Yeah. There's the and one. If he loses. Yep. Unlucky roll. This could be an early GG here. USSR steamroller if he has south or central comes out. OPEC could also be worth quite a few points once Libya and Egypt get filled. Right. And Southeast Asia not looking great either as of right now, but... The Pope. Basically conceding Europe there. Right. Pushing for 20. And now I wonder about um, if he shouldn't have, shouldn't ask not and uh, just fish for some good cards. You might draw some, you might get some unfavorable scorings. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah. Because you, you need something to turn this board around and you're not doing it with this hand, so. Got to keep in mind, Warsaw is also still in the deck, so. Well, hesitant uh, to fill up Poland. Yeah. And in addition to already being a scored region and being behind 11 on the track, I don't think Poland is a priority for you. No, and uh, he does not get the redraws he was hoping for here. Uh, Southeast Asia is a bummer, especially after Central getting scored here, so might see Alliance Oops. go into Southeast Asia. Take Malaysia and Indonesia. Don't have yeah, the... Southeast Asia. Okay, you sorry. Thing break of North Korea there. Judging where the VP track is, I maybe would have prioritized somewhere else. Southeast Asia. Maybe he's just trying to give him something to do. He doesn't want to make it too obvious he has Southeast Asia in hand. Yeah, that is a good point. Because, I mean, if you fill up, like, like you flip Cambodia there and uh, Malaysia, then pretty hard signal that you probably have Southeast Asia. With right. Asia already gone. This I don't think is too bad. You could even be threatening, you know, a brush war or something on Thailand. That's why you take Lao. It is important, though, in the, the grand scheme of things for Asia domination. Get North Korea back for the Reds. Not going to commit any yeah. more ops and just be happy with the plus one now. Worked out nicely. Yeah, think, uh, Laos. Which... Yeah. I think his best bet there would have been to spend three ops on Malaysia and Indonesia. And then uh, Red probably just takes Burma. So you spend three ops to gain one VP. This is good, though. Get your Africa control. Yeah, very blue. So he's going to need that to even out the VP track, especially since he's not in South America, and you don't want to see that come out before Africa. Yeah. Going to need something to get into South America, which there's a lot for blue, and need Africa to come out sooner rather than later. Got to remember, lads in, in effect here. You might see him move into Uruguay. And with these two cards, if he does go into Uruguay, he can't. I don't even think it's worth it to try the coup. Nuke subs. Doubles down on Brazil. I think I would have liked to see Brazil and Uruguay there. Got a one op to a Brazil coup at minus one. But since you're using a one op, does it. I think it still counts, right? I can't remember how yes, the card reads. Yeah, it, it, it still counts. It's not a. Yeah, total operations zero right there on the left. Very sad. Roll of five. <laughs> Does get Columbia back, so he's in. There is his blessed Africa and Junta. Africa and, okay. Got a way back in. And he sees uh, Allende, so he can pretty safely even South America here. 
Not sure if there's a path to 20 here that OPEC is on, is two, base is two, so that, I mean, I guess that's one path. OPEC would be scary. Can't get this Africa off. I think if you see OPEC, you would have to put Junta into Venezuela just uh, to be safe. Portuguese. Mm -hmm. Still has... Um, Oh, I have there big doubles hot. down in yeah. South America. Loses his control of Africa, but still is scoring. Is that six? Yeah. Yeah. Iran's going to want to overprotect here. Want to lose Angola. Or perhaps even flip Zaire here. Also at risk, though, of um, now South America scoring. For blue, though, if you don't retake Venezuela. Yeah, that is true. So you have a lot of obligations here. Africa control is worth quite a bit, though. And you're very, uh, you're vulnerable to attempted realigns Thanks. in Africa. Thinking about it. Eric also has one small step to jump space. Grab two VP. I think I might just um, overprotect Algeria and try and fill Botswana here to protect against the real lines. You can always coup Colombia later to uh, threaten your own real line in Venezuela. Yeah, I agree. Have a nice big four up. Go for... And he just does not care about Africa. The Uruguay op get you. Not? I don't know. If, uh... Derek is content with taking his six points in Africa or wants to try and realign Angola to Botswana. Kind of a bit of a stretch. Still got open battlegrounds available. Did have the opportunity to red scare and just flip Angola. That would have put a lot of pressure on here. We're using a four out flip Angola and protect Zaire. It does make Angola flip. He could flip it back with the three op if you do that, but. Yeah, and I think you're okay with him flipping it back yeah. with the three up. Makes the bots want to realign even stronger. Putting more ops in there. Eric saying he was afraid of brush war. Even if he did get brush ward in uh, Argentina, even if he took Chile at that point, that's not enough to save him, is it? Assuming that he takes a domination as well. I mean, if he loses still Argentina, for then probably not yeah. stopping a domination in South America. Gotta grab the two VP, VP from space. A fan of the real line here. Takes it on South Africa. Only a plus one. I mean, Cameroon does, doesn't block domination here. Around six to three. Six to three, yeah.
and yeah, even even if he did successfully realign him out of South Africa, he can still just score Africa for five. I think Iran's got to be pretty happy though with how this game is playing out thus far. Up fourteen VP, got pretty much dominations everywhere except for Africa. South America look moment. Not super sure on that. I mean, I guess I don't know. There's there's plenty of places for Derek to get presence back in the Middle East. Camp David, when he events it, will give it to him. But yeah, right away. Dot. And with the Middle East, with the Middle East already scored, it's not really a much of a threat. That turn seven is coming up quick, though, when the cards will be back. Minus eight um, on the VP track, only South America to be scored. But feel a lot better down eight than uh, he was just a little ago down 16 or whatever the highest was there. Yeah. And bummer not to get the control of Africa, though. Made things a lot better for him. Oh, of course. He, he broke his presence uh, in the Middle East with Omit, so he didn't want to give up uh, Omit. So that makes complete sense. I, I take it back. Like Derek wants to hold a Yende and play, play the rest of them, right? Four, five, six, seven. Give up China. Arms race there. Neither player has no ops right now. Ops to elect to fix Poland. The Let's Middle see. East is such a mess. Yeah. At everywhere. Muslim Revolution could clean it up fairly quickly. It is mill ops here, coup of Colombia. An empty action round. Argentina. Not Argentina. Venezuela. Venezuela. Space is Willy, fails. Big cards left in the deck. We haven't seen ABM, Brush War, Muslim Revolution, Missile Envy, OES, OPEC. Good stuff left. Two makes sense because he needs his mill ops, but it does feel a little bad to not be able to get uh, Camp David off here. It'd be a nice event. Yeah. But you don't want a coup with Purge, so. Derek has an opportunity to make a play here with ending with Red Scare for ops. Do with it, though. Might see a break of Venezuela if Iran doesn't overprotect here. That's what I was thinking was a uh, break Venezuela. Going to get his mill up, so Venezuela jam looks pretty nice. There it goes for. ABM is very nice. I haven't seen Muslim Revolution. Missile Envy could be playable. Do we see Duck and Cover yet? Um... I don't remember if it was played on turn three or turn two. I think it's still out there. I don't think you can play Missile Envy here. Yeah, just play ABM and maybe even just play Sops, take Venezuela. Go for it. Seeking out Muslim Revolution, I would think. Yeah. I'm going to assume then that I'm wrong and Duck did get played. I don't think he would risk it if Duck was out there. Duck was spaced after turn three, he says. Okay, confirmed. Muslim would be a huge hit here. Yeah, also some good red three op cards. OPEC, Warsaw. Just set up. Wanna... 
gives up the missile envy though. When he gets it. he hits it. That's huge. Are you going to risk the coup here, or are you just going to fill Venezuela? If you coup Venezuela, you can't fail. Even a one in Venezuela will give you uh, control of Venezuela. Yeah, that is true. Could play aggressive and actually go for Brazil. It is overprotected, though. With South America, the only scorecard left. Maybe you take a risk here. You roll big on Brazil, and he has to either pick Brazil or Venezuela anyway. Or maybe you just guarantee yourself points, like you said, coup Venezuela. And ignore all of that and go for Africa. Retake his control. At least temporarily. It's going to yeah. break from this card, but... Down HVP, not as scary as it once was. Ron, more than likely, just going to fix Venezuela, I would think. He also has ABM. He could always uh, swing that at Venezuela if um, he's so inclined. Yeah. Yeah, Skaven does make a good point. Whenever I'm not in the game, I forget about Missile Envy. Oh, yeah. You've got to play right. Missile yeah. Envy. You can't fix Venezuela. Nope, absolutely. Okay, this is a very good play then. It seems a lot easier to remember that when uh, you're the one playing the card. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I haven't seen Quagmire or Bear Trap as well. Be good there, overprotecting his yep. Africa control and taking Venezuela for domination. Starting to turn things around. Does have a little bit of a challenging um, hand here, though. Be a risky real line of Venezuela with eight to six influence and only at plus one. Right. You're already behind, so maybe you take that risk. Eric's probably thinking about Coup in Colombia to get his domination back. A is not too bad here. You got Saharan states, and that's it. Uh, Costa, Costa Rica. Rica. Yeah. But I expect this just to coup Colombia. There's six there. Big old six. And a two. is a four pretty strong might be enough to dissuade another uh coup in colombia yeah perhaps starting to set up some real lines here in africa algeria nigeria up opec though a monster oh. six. Well, if you roll a six, I suppose it doesn't matter. Nice to get off your two VP from kitchen, though. Yeah, four, four ops could have got you three VP from OPEC. He has some great rear lines here, though. And most important was the first one. Ooh, second one. Ooh. Unfortunate there. Yeah, plus two on that one. A little tough here. Um, I think if I'm Derek, I a... invite the real lines, but and suddenly becomes bad because he's got to play Brezhnev last. He's got ABM. He wants to event. He stalls 
playable? I'm always so afraid to play D stall, especially against top players like this. There's so many options, you never know. Yeah. With this, I don't know, maybe he would fill up the Middle East some. He doesn't have a ton of places to pull D stall ops. Um, he needs his Romania for his Europe Dom, so it'd be interesting if he gives up D stall here to see where the ops come from. Yeah, that is true. Gives up China, loses the Pakistan flip. Protects Algeria. Still does have a secondary target in um, Nigeria. Yeah, I think Venezuela is going to be tough, though. Plus one is uh, not the greatest advantage when realigning, especially when you have five of your own influence. Brush war can. Uh, Brush war. Apparently also, not make quick work of it. <laughs> Unfortunate roll there. They get very. Countered with an ABM. Let's see how this goes. Second thoughts from Derek here. Brazil's a pretty big reward if you get it. I'm a coward, though. I wouldn't do that. I would do... Uh, <laughs> yeah, overprotected, a uh, little rough. Yeah. Uh, Panama has decent value. We're just holding it and waiting. Yep, Skaven makes a good point. A lot of nasty blue cards in the deck still VOA, Grain Sales OAS. A little bear, unfortunate. Bear trap as well. A little unfortunate to see those come out on uh, turn seven. You'd like to see them. Oh, he Ooh. goes for Brazil and gets it. Huge. Monster. We go from Africa control to South America control. Ice in his veins. No fear. I love it. Derek's probably pretty happy about that after South America started off red. And no, yeah. no blue influence in there. Wow. That's huge. Yeah. Even better if it gets scored before the reshuffle next turn. Right. I don't think it's going to happen, though. BP track suddenly back at three. I don't know. I... I, I kind of felt like uh, he might have the scoring this turn. I think he had but an opportunity to get a... Oh, yeah, he does. Maybe oh. maybe he was trying to play for an advantage there and then have Brush War as a safety valve. Fortunately, that didn't happen. And all the way from minus 16 to plus 5 now for the blue. Yeah, I mean, maybe he was thinking... What I was thinking, he's not going to coup Brazil, even if he has ABM. Why, why would he do that? Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I feel pretty confident about my two stat battlegrounds once I get it overprotected. Yeah, me too. I I would not have uh, I would not have been ready for that. Uh, if he puts one in s any country in Europe, uh, he can stop the dawn there. So I kind of like that for his last stop here. Three. Likes to protect but Nigeria. Not, not a bad option either. It's VOA. The opponent has Bear Trap and Quagmire. And OAS. Bear gets a redraw of Junta, though. No oh, Quagmire's in Blue Hand. Yeah, what started out as heavy red is now turning heavy blue. Yeah, Tim makes a pretty interesting point. You got 18 influence in Middle East, and it's only three BP for a domination or two. Well, right now it's even because of a shuttle. Right now, if it were to be scored, yeah. it would be scored for zero. Wow, well, two controls on the board. Yeah, now it's looking uh, quite scary. Eric knows he has South America. Oh, no. South America was played in turn six. What's back in the yeah. deck? He knows he has rear guards to dot VOA. We will bury you Allende and Quag. Went to South America or South African and Asia scoring are the unknowns. 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, Junta here. You protect your two controls. You're, a, you're pretty realign proof in Africa. For now. Yeah, it protects your Africa for sure. And it also protects uh, a, a South America coup. It's got to be a pretty high priority as well. Yeah, the coup back of Brazil. Well, I think if Iran got the, the coup, he would probably elect to take it in Africa as that's an easier coup target to break at. Worth around the same VP. Wife got me Sonic food and it smells so good. Not going to eat it on stream, <laughs> though. You don't want to want... Oh, the gunman. Didn't think about that, but a bummer for uh, a bummer to draw that on turn seven is red. Yeah, he's going to see as Asia in his hand. What he wants to do about it. And the one in turn favor. CRG might make it a little tough um, to fight in Asia. Yeah, six to five for the red, but we have shuttle in effect, so five to five. What's to do here with this one op, though? Having seen Asia, just going into Malaysia so you can take that and Indonesia makes sense. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that would grab you the domination. It could get you to uh, seven with shuttle countries. Um, you have China in your hand, but your hand is not that not that great from the known cards, right? Bear Trap, OAS. The blue, bad blue cards you might have. Derek will have to give up uh, Iende this turn unless he wants to self-quag, which I doubt is what he's going to do. Yeah, I don't think so. Jeremy, thank you for the funny. follow. Appreciate it for tuning in. Asia is going to be tough to fight for. We got Europe, and that's kind of shaky with France surrounded by blue. Is going to fight at least a little bit for Asia. And retakes Panama. I think that's pretty important. That makes yeah. sense. That was probably the best line of play for him there. Give up China card here now after having to respond to rear guards. Country count is six to five, but effectively five all with shuttle. Yep. I think for sure he takes Indonesia back. Also has to be afraid of the uh, VOA. Yeah, I think if you're Derek, I don't know, maybe try and hold VOA. But you might, Luxury, where is your best target for VOA? You could wipe out Egypt, yeah. but Egypt, Libya, Sinat's but you got Sadat anyway. Yeah. 
You could go, uh, if you did it, it, if you time it right, maybe, no, you can't do it. I was going to say maybe like Malaysia, Indonesia, and Libya, but he could just walk back into Libya before you can uh, event Sadat in that case. But unless he wants to give up Quag, he has to um, use VOA just because he has to space, we will bury you. Yeah. So his hold card then would have to be Quag. Yeah, maybe you just do use VOA in Southeast Asia. Or make him use another four op card and take it out of two battlegrounds. Right. Up to China card. There's another four op. Burma for IP war. going to be tough to take Asia. IP war. Oof. Okay. Uh, now, now I don't think you're getting Asia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The swingy game. Yes, it is. But still two blue controls on the board, so... Yeah, and that is going to be tough. Yeah, two more. Uh, there are two more red uh, dominations, though. So war games is definitely a concern for both players, depending on which scoring come out first. Yeah, if he can get a a Europe, that could be good for the Reds. Uh, meanwhile, Derek has Africa and South America control. Derek still needs mill ops. Not the African unrest seems like a likely candidate here for mill ops. Still needs the space as well. Now seems like a good time to go to space. Oh, VOA. Gas pedal. Okay, Libya makes sense. Where would you take the other two from here? Uh, worth it for Africa? Maybe just take a battleground. Make him play ops. One out of Iraq's not bad. All this sudden, the Middle East can start to look pretty blue. Yeah, Iraq, Saudi. He already took one out of South Africa to make South African free. Oh, um, okay. So he could just take the one out of South. I do like the one out of South Africa. That way, like you said, he can just use South African as a coup card and he doesn't have to worry about South Africa being broken. Ron does give him a temporary domination. But with him having seen his hands and knowing he doesn't have the Middle East in that, that's not. Yeah, I don't think it really does much. much. I think I would have taken a rock there. Yeah. The no way you could take it, risk the war, but Ron, you got hostage crisis anyway. Yeah. I, I wouldn't or even consider taking Iran at this point. It feels like hostage crisis always comes up if it's still blue. Yeah, maybe even taking it from Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Yeah. If he if he didn't know your hand, I think that's a pretty good threat. But if he knows that you don't have the Middle East in hand, Europe is kind of fragile though. Takes one non battleground to block domination. Nothing's over protected except for West German or East Germany at one. Over. Tear down solidarity. Yeah. Both immediately break it. Tear down almost guarantees that you get France back. Yeah, sitting at a plus three. 
Who do you think's got the lead? We're actually tied at dominations right now, three to three. I mean, I'm giving it a little bit to Derek um, for now. Like I said, War Games makes this anyone's game, but Derek's got, I think, a little bit of a points lead. Um, yeah, I think his dominations are a little safer than Iran's, too. Except for Asia, I mean, that looks like it's going to be red. Yeah, Asia. Asia looks pretty red for the rest of the game after that IP war, but everything else is even even the blue regions, everything right now is pretty up for grabs. Um you could always see Muslim come out and mess up the Middle East again later. D stall is a good answer to uh VOA. Oh influence. Reasoning for that. Country count purely? Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It gets him. It's, he's not even that close with that to country count. It's still like seven to five. I don't know. Put it in a battleground, non battleground Uruguay, maybe. See if there was a reason. Yeah, I'm 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 a little stumped on that one. I don't I don't know what the thought is. Where did the last one go? Oh, he he did two Libya, one Ethiopia, and where did that? La oh, Iran. That's right. Yeah, to fix it. Yep. Yeah, Skaven says access to the one stabs. Really only gives you Sudan, though. When you want to block off Sudan. Instead of Ethiopia. Yeah, Sudan makes more sense. Got Bear Trap left in his hand, right? Something else? Yeah, Bear Trap and something. Ron knows his hand. There can't do too much about South Africa. Right. Or Panama. Chile about to be at probably four to two, assuming he puts his IN day up there. Yeah, and Derek will lose the domination. Well, control. And then if he gets a coup off in Africa, it's like, oh. Could see him event a Yende and realign Chile at a plus two. I would just fill it. I, I don't want to. Yeah, plus two now that you have good, containment, I, I mean, might as well just yeah, fill yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Just fill it and be. They straw of grain Alliance. cells there, Alliance, duck cover. This looks Puppets pretty good. Doesn't do too much, but. Alliance will probably protect you from uh, war games if he gets into war games range. Yeah, both of them are itching for that five spot on Space Track as well. Rain still seems like a good headline here. Yep. And you did bring up the war games thing. You got the lead, uh, you're up or central. Rain cells, you could respond to it. So I think you're fairly safe from. Boring something and then spending. Yeah, I think I think for uh, war games reasons, grain is the best. Gives you the highest chance to react. He he can stop even if he has to return whatever he dr pulls with grain. He can stop either Dom with just the two ops by poking um, Cuba or France. It's also such a fun card when you're playing as the blue. It's fun to see what you're going to steal. 
and then you still have a five year plan, and you really just want to event five year plan too, <laughs> which yeah. is almost never a good idea. But brain cells time. into uh, Star Wars. Wouldn't do brush. anything this time. See if he gets lucky with brush this time. He rolled a one last time. What are you going to go for here? There's so many targets. South Africa, America, I think. South America, I think. I think South America, Venezuela. Then. Yeah, might as well take it. Thirteen zero. Yeah. I go Egypt six would have got him anything. Bird here of three ops. So that's going to be a coup somewhere. Rushed Egypt is a little curious. Maybe he has Middle East and. Um, yeah, this War makes me think he has Middle East scoring. Although, is OPEC back in the deck still, right? Or was it played last turn? It was played in seven? I can't remember. It was played very recently. I don't remember. Yeah. Taking Egypt makes me think he has Middle East scoring. And a counter coup in Middle East, perhaps? Trying to decide which one. Who is not, not enough? Not enough. Got space too, which is going to be worth 3 VP for whoever gets it. Little surprised if he has Middle East, if he doesn't just uh, score it here. Yeah, what is it sitting at? Plus four? Yeah. yeah I don't know. He would have. Maybe if you have Middle East, you think you can get more value out of it. And maybe space is more important right now. But I mean, I think taking Libya would be more important if you have Middle East in your hand. Yeah. And I don't know. I mean, that target selection. Oh. I would really assume he has Middle East in his hand. Three Star Wars. To yeah, Libya. you guys go ahead yeah. and take Libya. Ultra. Uh, you did say Arn's the higher seed, right? So that's pretty risky because he yeah, would definitely interesting take it to high there that he... Yeah, he is the higher seed. I think that's an unnecessary risk. You have... I think if we see chat blow up, then... <laughs> yeah. What are the rules for ties? <laughs> yeah. Ask... Uh, we can ask Tim if uh, what the rules are for ties. Yeah, but if he has Middle East scoring, I think he fill up Saudi... I mean, well, you could fight for South not. Africa as well. That's open. Yep. He does not have war games. Or he doesn't know the rules for ties. Or he has war oh. games and knows oh, the rules for ties. <laughs> oh, no. Ugh. Oh, no. I think you would have got it anyway if he has Middle East in his hand. Eric does have Alliance. Alliance is five. That would have <laughs> canceled out Middle East, essentially. How about that, though? I broadcast two OTSL playoff games, and they both end in ties with the higher seed advancing game three. Crazy. Yeah. I Ooh. mean, I don't <laughs> think you're holding duck here, so you could have used the duck for three ops, and then if he scores Middle East, you score Alliance. Yeah. What are the odds of that, though? We were looking at the stats earlier. It was like 1% <laughs> of games end in ties. Man, that was a that was a very close one. It would have been I think that would have been a very close game in uh final scoring. Oh uh, yeah, Justin is excited. I forgot about Eric being the kryptonite to Justin. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, not funny, but crazy as well. 
Great season though for Derek. Well played game. Yeah. yeah, interesting game for sure that Derek promised us.